Hang on. Hang on. How do I change the autofocus on that? Because it is straight up atrocious. I hate the camera just because of the auto. What is up, guys? My name is Cridfer or Chris. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing something. Something cool. So I just ordered some stuff. Some of these Hella 500 fog lights. So I have been trying to find some fog lights like this, um, but I can't really find any. Uh, plus, well, I can, but they're hella expensive. They're like 200 bucks for a set, and I thought I'll just go with these and put some selective yellow bulbs in them. So I went to Candle Power, whatever it is, Candle Power, it doesn't even say, Ink, there we go, uh, for some 55 watt selective yellow H3 bulbs, which should fit right into those hella lights. All right guys, we are back. It has only been about four days. So anyways, uh, I got everything here. I'm not gonna really walk through the steps to wire these, cause I walked through that on my SSD performance light bar video for these Hella 500s. So pretty much I got in the CPI selective yellow bulbs. I have them in that far Hella 500 and the stock bulb here. I wanna see how big of a difference it makes. And I had to order a new wiring harness because the one that came with it was just bad, dude. I, I didn't like it. So I had to, that's what I've actually been waiting on was the better wiring harness. This is the value fit one and this is what I'm using on those two Hella 500s. So anyways, um, Let's get these wired up and I guess we'll see which one is yellow and which one's not or I don't know. I don't know how yellow uh, the selective yellow is going to be. I'm hoping pretty yellow. Um, so let's get to it. Also, I should say as much as I don't mind taking the front bumper off of this car, I can do it in under 10 minutes. It's now going to be a pain in the ass with that light bar because I'm gonna have to disconnect the light bar and disconnect the lights and then take the front bumper off. So I'm gonna try to do this without taking the front bumper off, which I think will be kind of a pain because I don't see a very easy way to get the wires down here with it off. But I'm hoping I can find a way because I really don't wanna take the front bumper off if I don't have to. All right, guys, so I haven't tried these out yet, but we got them all wired up, and here's the switch. All right, I, I can definitely tell a difference, though in the camera, they look the exact same. That's really funny. But there is a very noticeable difference between this one, which is the selective yellow, and this one, which is the white. These actually look very clear in the camera. Let's see if we do that. Yeah, you can kind of tell. Um, Oh man, those are really bright. All right, so let's just kind of mock them up here. Kind of where they'd be at. I actually like the stock Hello ones more. Hmm. That's a little disappointing. Let me get you some close-ups of this, but really they look the same um, in the camera. If I look over here, that all looks the same, but you can kind of see more yellow over here. Even in the camera, it's a little more yellow over here, but man, I'm, I don't know. I'm disappointed, I guess, in these bulbs. I had high hopes for them. I thought I really was expecting them to be more yellow. And they're just, they're really not, honestly. And so, I don't know. Okay guys, so I am pretty disappointed about the light output of the CPI selective yellow bulbs. So I've just decided to go with the stock Hellas, uh, stock Hella H3 bulbs in all of my lights. So I tried them in my amber lights and it really didn't make a difference. With that being said, I'm gonna get these mounted up Okay, so I don't even have these hooked up yet. I had to take them off and do the heat shrink. 
on the wires. Um, but oh my God, this setup is just looking fantastic. Um, I don't know what to say. It just looks super cool. I can't wait to use it. And it's gonna be really cool. Um, I haven't positioned these lights yet. I'm gonna wait until nighttime to do that. Um, Cause I really, it's impossible to position them in here in the garage and it's pretty much impossible to do it in the day so i'll do that off camera tonight um but all we gotta do now is to pretty much drop these wires down into here and i think we can get them through right in here i'm really hoping all right so i am not happy but i have to take the front bumper off to get these off there's not enough space down in here for me to shove the wires so I just got the light bar off and this thing looks so weird without the lights on it, man. I don't mind the look, but uh, definitely like the light bar more. But I was thinking if we put it right up there, it'd be really cool too. But anyways, I'm gonna work on uh, taking the bumper off. One eternity later. Okay guys, so I got the new lights on wired and everything i did put the new bulbs back in um i tested them out out here and they're actually way brighter outside than they are in the garage so i'll, I'll just walk you through everything let's see let's just turn my These are my stock lights with yellow tint on the fog lights. Amber driving lights. And that's the range. Hella fog lights. It's hard to tell what the range is, but it's kind of right below the driving lights. And then my LEDs on my grill. Obviously I wouldn't drive with all of them on at once. It's kind of pointless. And those go all the way over there. So that's my stock lights plus the hella fog lights. And this is without them. This is the amber lights, and those are the LEDs, and this is everything. So pretty sweet, I actually really like those. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below, leave a like, comment uh, what mods I should do in the future. Thank you all for watching, peace.